Hey guys, so today we're going to be reacting to Beasties Trigger 5 Series Episode 15, Part 2, 2. And I haven't uploaded in two days because I was taking a lot of work. I usually upload daily, but I've kind of been addicted to watch some YouTube videos lately. So, yeah, I accidentally took a break, but I'm back. I've also been playing a lot of hey, GTA. Hey, Mike, a police uniform suits you. Trevor, not so much. Okay, well, that was a relatively easy and clean job, <laughs> which is a first. And yes, I want to autosave, goddammit. Mission passed. I fought the law. Listen, I've just got to say it. Those two kids were idiots. They were already in a high-speed pursuit with police officers, fleeing the police, right? And they pulled over? At that point, you might as well just fully commit, my man. Just keep going and try and escape the police. But no, they pulled over. Incredible. Luckily, they're not going to get any jail time, but man, the fee for them speeding was quite hefty. They both lost their cars. And uh, see, again, I don't understand why we do jobs like we do. I mean, we stole two police motorcycles, dressed up as cops, stole two cars, and then left the bikes in the middle of the road. You've got to know at some point someone's going to catch on to the jobs we're doing. We should have just gone in at night, stolen the cars in a stealthy way, and then made off like bandits and no one would be the wiser. But uh, that's not what we did. Okay, let's go down here and talk to my buddy Solomon about something that will probably involve me not getting paid. Fine. Okay, and here we are, Solomon. Was it Solomon the guy that... Um, Devin wanted to introduce Michael to the movie producer, Solomon Richards? I think he is. Uh, tell me, Michael, why are you such a big fan of this uh, Solomon character? What type of films does he produce, hmm? Mystery films, fantasy films, or adult films? <laughs> I think we know what it is. It's probably adult films, am I right? Hmm? He's a movie producer with talents and a count. What films has he produced? Maybe 12 Horny Men or A Tale of Two Titties? Those are 100% porno titles, I guarantee it. Ah, good old Hollywood. Or Vinewood in this case. What a beautiful place to be. Good afternoon, are you guys actors? Say, say what? Hmm, okay, well, if we're doing a job for someone in Hollywood, he's probably far more corrupt than uh, anyone in, I don't know, a gang-related field. It's just how it works. Politicians, then you have Hollywood, and then you have everything else. Any crime syndicate. <laughs> oh, good old Hollywood. Full of pedophiles. What a beautiful place to work. No, I, I would hate to ever have to work in Hollywood. Mm. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. Uh, uh. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Solar of Orion. Two. He knows the movies. Devin Weston <laughs> said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring and might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. <laughs> never Do work they. with directives or actors. Mm. This picture is going to kill me. Uh, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. Lots of training montage. So Sounds lit. Problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he 
He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. Oh, what a weird guy. Okay, I kind of wish now he was a porn producer. That's probably worse. He, he used to have three secretaries, and now he has to give himself a happy ending. Fantastic. So much fun. <laughs> Good old Hollywood. So they're going to be producing a movie on a green screen. I hate movies that use green screens. I prefer practical effects. Yeah, sometimes it's fun to see a movie with all the fake CGI and explosions and colors and all that shit, but practical effects, you just, you can't beat it. Like, uh, for example, The Matrix, they used real explosions, real bullet ricochets and all that. It looked really good. And then modern day movies, they're just over there with a pistol shooting like a machine gun. It looks terrible. Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad <laughs> idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Okay, from criminal to still a criminal, only now I'm working for people in Hollywood. So much fun. So this guy wants to back out of his contract or renegotiate. I'm pretty sure you can't do that. There's got to be something in a contract that basically forbids the actor from holding up production if he wants to, like, renegotiate. At least I think so. Or I hope so. All right, well, we're going to go beat up this producer or his agent or someone. I don't know. An actor? I am always down to beat up an actor. <laughs> okay, so uh, 1.6 miles to go. It's not too bad. I'm just going to crash into everything because that's what I do. They're producing a shitty movie on a green screen. So much fun. No! Can you not? I'm a terrible driver, so I'm going to spare you guys the misery and pain of watching me crash into everything. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, here we are. Time to make somebody more cooperative. Also, I have a new car. It's not mine. I stole it from an old guy. But still, remind me to try and keep this or buy it or something because it's supposed to be a Corvette and uh, your boy needs a new car. That little shitty red car I have is just not going to cut it now that I'm a crime lord and all. So, this guy doesn't want to cooperate. It's time to practice a little punching on his face. Get him warmed up for that training montage in his film. This is the rat pit he was talking about, Solomon, right? And they have a helipad? Say what? Hmm. Dancing. Gentlemen, how do you like this space? It's gonna be GDM paradise. It's gonna be fossil stuck in bottles. <laughs> Tramp stamps, all the real shit. Nice! <laughs> now give me Sound a minute lit. here. Just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, you nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. It's all cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Mm. That man is truly a visionary. An entrepreneur. A real businessman. With his pink v-neck and gold chain. Oh. So you want to ruin my buddy Solomon's movie, huh? Well, I think I'm going to have to ruin your face. Also, I, I don't think wearing a business suit is ideal for, oh, I don't know, sneaking around and climbing onto a helipad, but, uh, what can I say? I can't sacrifice my style. I need to continue to, you know, walk around with a certain air of respectability, even if I have to climb over dirty shit. You never know when a hot woman might want to approach me and then slap my face for staring. So I got to look good at all times. Hmm. Now, if you were trying to get onto the roof of a building, how would you do it? That's a rhetorical question. I know if you guys answer, you'll be like, well, in GTA Online, I just crash a helicopter into it. 
That's not gonna work right now. I need to stay low key. Of course, there's nothing less low key than running around in a business suit. Where I said I would be. Where'd you wander off to? Well, good lord, lady, aren't you in the wrong city? You sound like you come from the southern part of the USA. Okay, there's a ladder here. This might work. Careful, don't dirty your suit up. Tailor made, very expensive. And I'm also tight on money. Okay, I can get over there, but I have to cross this. Ooh, okay. Time for that diet of cigars and uh, whiskey to pay off. I'm an athlete. Let's make a bet. I owe every subscriber a hundred dollars if I fall on my face and break every bone in my. Okay, if you fall. Never mind. I'm good. You guys should hit the like button. Just, <gasps> never mind. Hundred you, you pounds, good, please. I think you broke every bone in his body. Subscribe. <laughs> okay, let's try that Just one more time. I refuse to give up. Okay, if I make it across this time and I don't break every bone in my body, mm. you guys have to hit the like button. Mm. There we go. Hit the like button. That was the wrong button. Hit the right one. Thank you. <laughs> what am I doing? I have no idea. Press. And we are now on the roof of this EDM paradise Wait, that has what? tramp stamps, sparklers, and uh, what Okay, let me just switch hey, sorry, my man. I'm just punching eagles, you know? Or seagulls, rather. I'm just kidding, but I'm not going to make myself my fall fist. off the table. Come here, Rob. Come on! Broken nose! How you like to have me? Well, 
Okay, <laughs> good thing Trevor wasn't here. He would have taken him up on that offer. Go back to the studio. Yeah, if I make it to the studio. Hey, no, what? I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. I'm you're apologizing when you see Solomon. You say, sorry for the misunderstanding, sir. And you will always, always appreciate the opportunity he's given you. Look, I just wanted a better deal. Everyone wants a better deal. Everyone serving coffee, selling cars, typing in spreadsheets wants a better deal. I mean, he's right about that one. Where am I putting this thing down? When Devin Weston came to do a studio visit, he used the empty water tank. All right, then we'll do the same. Put it there. The water tank turned parking lot. Send it down. This is going to be sloppy. Ah, there we go. Let's drive down here and do this. 
this side mission. All right, what pathetic job do we have where I will not get paid for my services? Oh, Hopefully it's not that freak photographer. He is a weird person. I didn't do it! They're not after me, thank God. <laughs> uh, if I were Michael, honestly, I would probably be scared of every police officer and every single siren. Hello? Is there any freak here? Any strangers? There's a homeless guy. I would give you money, but of course, why would I do that? Because I'm not a good guy. So I'm sorry about that. Maybe I'll uh, buy some McDonald's, taunt it in front of your face, and then step on it. What the hell is this? Excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you for a second? You're oh, legalized weed. I'm talking about a hotline straight to heaven that this state makes illegal. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about it. They rigged the vote. I saw the ballots. It's a lie. It's democracy at work, amigo. Democracy can suck my fatty. <laughs> democracy only works when it lets intelligent people do what they want. This, this is tyranny by morons. <laughs> well, I got things to take care of. It's called reality. You want to grab it? Oh, oh, oh. He's like, oh, oh hell yeah, brother. This isn't Bush. This is mana. I grew up myself. No paranoia, no weirdness. A passport to Nirvana. You don't say. Fuck. Yeah, here you're <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> this is how he gets people to sign the petition. But I do get concerned about the monsters. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're nothing serious, but. Stuff. That ain't weed. 
Michael's already been ripping fat rips from uh, his son's bong, which, oddly enough, his son has a bong, and Michael's never actually used it. Mm. Well, I mean, he has used it, but I forced him to take a fat rip. people voted in favor, and I saw the ballots. It's a lie. Really? Well, if it was just weed, I might say yes, but see, the thing was, I know that wasn't weed. That was some weird shit. And you probably filmed me, too. Was I over here just butt naked, scratching my ass, and throwing feces everywhere? And then you filmed it, and you're going to use it to blackmail me? I know what's good, man. I know how to hustle. I've lived in Los Santos. That was not weed. There's a weed dispensary down by the beach anyway. This guy's trying to get something else legalized. I don't know what it is, but I want none of that. Aliens trying to abduct my brain? No, thank you. <laughs> Um, you know what? That was such an easy side mission. Uh, we could do another one. Or can we? The green's Franklin, right? I'm pretty sure green means that's a job for Franklin. Orange is Trevor. Blue is, uh, Michael. So, I don't see anything else we can do currently as Michael. So, you know what? I'm going to leave it off there. Tripping balls on weed is a great way to end the video. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you're still liking the series or not. And if you really want to show me you're liking the series... Smash the like button. Okay, guys, yes. and until next time, peace out. Michael, stay away from that stuff. That ain't weed, homie. You're gonna die, okay?